Hey guys, we have been given the equation for a parabola in standard form, okay? And we are being asked to graph it. So we have two options. You can either graph it in standard form or you can convert it to vertex form, which looks like this, and graph it, okay? In this one, we're gonna stay in standard. If you wanna see an example where I convert it to vertex form, I'll link that in the corner, okay? But let's go ahead and do this in standard form, okay? When I am graphing a parabola, they look a little something like this, right? Woo, that's what a parabola looks like. I need to know where my vertex is. That's like the turning point, okay? I need to know where that is, okay? When we are in standard form, the x value of my vertex is going to be negative b over 2a, okay? Now you're like, um, where are these a's and b's coming from, right? <laughs> so they are coming from, when we are in standard form, the number in front of our x squared, which in this case is a 1, right, is a. The number in front of our x is, is b. And then a number being added or subtracted on the back is 9. Sorry, guys. I was like fumbling there a little bit. Okay. So that's where the a's and b's are coming from. Okay. So... If I plug this in, I'm going to have a negative B. So the X coordinate of my vertex is negative B, which B is negative four. We need to make sure we have both those negatives. Okay. Over two times A, A is one. Okay. So then I've got negative, negative four, which goes to positive, right? So four over two times one is two. Four divided by two is two. Okay. Okay. So for my vertex, we're looking for an ordered pair, right? The guys, I just knocked over my uh, markers. It's fine. The x coord, the x value in this coordinate is two. Okay. So now, how do we find the y? We're gonna plug that two in for x and see what we get. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I'm gonna have y equals x squared. We want to know what y is when x is 2. So we're going to plug in 2. So I'm going to get 2x, sorry, <laughs> 2 squared, oh gosh, minus 4 times x, which is 2, plus 9. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify that down. So 2 squared gives me 4, minus 4 times 2 is 8, plus 9. Okay, then we have 4 minus 8 plus 9, which gives me 5, okay? So that is the y value in my vertex, okay? So look, I have my vertex now, 2, 5. So I'm going to go over 2, up 5. And that is the vertex of my parabola. Now, kind of like when we graph a line, right? We like to have at least two points, okay? We like to have two, uh, preferably three when we do a parabola, okay? One on each side of the vertex. But the good news is, is vert, oh my gosh, guys, parabolas are <laughs> symmetrical. So if we find one on one side, it'll match on the other side, okay? So let's go ahead and plug in. Let's plug in zero just because we like zeros, right? So we're going to plug in zero for x, okay? So I'm going to have y equals zero squared minus four times zero plus nine. Now, you probably could have done this in your head, right? Because these go away. Those all end up being zeros, and I end up with y equals nine, which means my ordered pair when x is zero y is 9, okay? So that means this point on the parabola is 0 up to 9, okay? So now I can think of it as the same thing on the other side because it's reflected over. So see how this is like over 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4, over 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? It's just the same on both sides, Okay, now when I graph this, remember, it's not a straight line, it's a curved line, okay? So we're gonna go here, and it's gonna be curved up, and curved up, okay? If you're not sure about the reflection, like where the other one should be, you can always go ahead and plug in another point, okay, that's on the other side. But hopefully this made sense. If you need some more parabola 
uh, videos. I've got lots. I'll link a playlist for you in the corner. Thanks. Bye.